Okay, hello and welcome to, I believe it's the ninth episode of Rhino Ramps International. Uh, I really need to keep, keep, start keeping better track of that. We've got a bad lighting situation today. We're in the garage and we've got so much room. Yeah, one day I'm going to have a real garage. We do have an overhead light, but unfortunately it's right behind the hood. Okay, we have a shopping list of things to do today. Uh, the belts are squealing. We want to tighten those up. The thermostat housing, I don't know how you can see that, is uh, loose. Normally I'd call the mechanic who did that to task, but uh, I'm the one who did that. The tires are all low. Got to pump them up again. That's just patience. And I might possibly want to replace those fuel lines on either side of the fuel filter. Although, taking a look at those, those don't look bad at all. Okay, here we go. Okay, if I, if I, as I've mentioned before, I absolutely adore this design. This is for uh, tightening up the, the power steering pump. There's just three bolts on top. You loosen them and tighten this up till it's got a quarter inch tension. As you can see, it's quite a bit more than that. And that may be the culprit in our, in our squealing. So, Lord willing, this one should be easy. Okay, the uh, power steering tightened up no problems at all. Uh, that's uh, 9 sixteenths, all of them for you to know. Now this is the main bolt on the alternator. This goes directly into the block. That one's 5 eighths. And the one back in here, that is... I don't know if you I doubt very much you can see that. It's very difficult to reach if you get the ratchet in just perfectly behind. You can move it like, you know, <laughs> 10, 15 degrees of arc, maybe. And that one has a tension. Now, the way I do this is I tighten it up to the point where it just has some resistance so you can move it, but it's still got some grip. I tighten it up till it's tight enough that there's one quarter inch tension on this belt, and there's quite a bit now. I loosened up to see if the bearings were okay. I spun it a little bit. But, okay, uh, we'll see how this one goes. This one's a lot tougher. Okay, now this, uh, in quotes, tool has gotten more comments than any other tool in my channel. This was in my toolbox for, I think, over 20 years. Forgot what it was for. Turns out it's perfect for adjusting alternators. And that one went surprisingly well. We uh, got the belt tightened up to a quarter inch, and that went pretty easily. Okay, I, uh... The, yeah, the housing on a thermostat is leaking a little bit, and I, uh, the half-inch bolts on there, I got them in and I tightened them down. Well, one was a little bit loose. I'm hoping that that's enough because this thing is terrible to work on. I have to get in there, get in the gasket, put on, yeah, and there's also a temperature, yeah, well, okay, let's hope that's fixed. Okay, I wasn't actually planning on test driving it. Since I dropped a 9 16 wrench between the radiator and the transmission cooler, and I can't reach it in my oh so spacious garage. Let's see what we got here. here was built with a 77 Cougar in mind. Gentle sudden Minnesota sun shining through those brake lights just uh, got my attention. Anyway, I finally got that 9 16 wrench uh, out of the uh, between the radiator and the uh, uh, the transmission cooler. It was incredibly difficult, and I'm sure that transmission cooler doesn't need all those fins. Anyway, I guess that's it for this one. Keep it between the ditches, everyone. <laughs> 